Hey guys, um, I'm gonna get my iPod Touch third generation replaced, and I, this is just showing you why I'm getting this replaced. I'm getting it replaced through Walmart, so they should replace this right here. As you can see, I have a cracked screen there, and then um, it's button up here is it's like almost impossible to press down and there I finally got it you can't just tap it it's gotta be pressed down like really hard see it won't even turn on now here we go so there's that and then on the screen right There, there's a nick taken out of the glass. So that's a big problem. Well, not really big, but still. And then the screen is, you might be able to hear. You can hear the crack, or the, how it bangs on the, how the screen's coming out of the frame. And then down here, it's bent, as you can see, right here, it starts bending like right here, so that's bent. My Wi-Fi sensor's dented, I have a dent there, the back of it has like a crack and I can't see because I got too many scratches on it. Yeah, and then here's the one that gets me like really weird. I can turn the volume down, but the volume will not turn back up. Volume down won't turn back up. So if you want to play something and turn the volume up, you have to go to music, turn the volume all the way up, and press the home button. And then that's pretty much how you play. Using or use the volume, you can also do it on YouTube and all that. So, yeah, that is those are the main reasons why I am getting my iPod Touch replaced, and also the Wi Fi is very, very slow. So, watch, I'll open up the App Store. There we go, finally opened. It took way more than 30 seconds to open up. And my fourth generation iPod doesn't even do that. So that's just a walkthrough of my broken iPod touch that I'm going to get fixed. And I will have a video back when I do get it fixed. So that's it, and thank you. There's also my case I came in, and then my iPod 4, which I am recording with, as you want to be able to see. There. So yeah, that's it, and thanks for watching.